going on everybody it's Poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the loyalty rewards the pre-order stuff now guys here's the video schedule for the week i'm gonna be going over the loyalty rewards and i'm gonna be going over the pay to manning a few other things in this video i will be dropping probably tomorrow the best pre-order to choose and then after that i'll probably go over my beta impression so me and zerk of course have been lab in the 22 beta we're gonna be going through it kind of checking out like playmaker scrambling you know all the basic stuff like this playmaker is that responsive how are the users or do they feel like trees do they feel like plants um, do the deep zones work now of course guys this beta is much earlier than usual so it's actually it actually feels good for the time right because this beta the beta felt the same last year in july as it does in june so that's always a positive but i'll go over that later in another video but guys first off i want to apologize for my absence i took about a month off it was more of a mental a mental period time to take a break you know this is no excuse of course other people do it but it's been like two years straight every single day every morning day and night right and you know things were kind of dying down madden a little bit i just needed a one month break i took a vacation i went away to the um central america over there like caribbean little area took a break came back took another second vacation had a nice little time right but i'm back madden 22 news is underway i'm happy to start getting back into it so hopefully you guys who have stuck around are still here and hopefully we can find some more of you guys if you are new hit the subscribe button turn that on your bell and of course come join the family guys it'd be nice to start growing up the family again for madden 22 super excited to get into it but let's get into this so we have some rewards to go over right so all this pre-order stuff I'm gonna go over in a separate video, of course. But we're concerned today with the Madden Veteran Bonus, which is technically like a loyalty reward. It's not necessarily the loyalty that we've had in years past. It's a little bit different, but I do like it. We've all, we always have this, right? But you guys might be associating loyalty with like the Aaron Rodgers and the Kyle Fuller type loyalty. This is different, but this is cool because for you guys who do play Madden every year, you get this. Now, if you didn't, if you only played one other Madden, you still get something. You played two, you get something. You played three. So as long as you played another Madden besides this one, and this one does count for the one, so you're gonna get one regardless. You're good to go now if you're a new guy entirely guys maybe you could just log on to an older madden if your friend has it on their account or something maybe that will trigger it again i think it will so again if you guys haven't done any and this is your first year joining on you could probably go to your friend's house sign to your xbox account play on their madden for just a few minutes in your account log in ultimate your ultimate team that probably trigger it and i do like i do like these packs i'm gonna go over in just a second but if i played madden nfl in previous years will there be a loyalty offer yes if you played madden nfl in previous years you will receive a veteran bonus so if you played any combination of Madden NFL 19, 20, or 21, then you'll be eligible for a special reward in Madden NFL 22. Now, have I played Madden 19? Yes. Have I played Madden 20? Yes. Have I played Madden 21? Yes. So that is going to be three total Maddens that I will be getting packs for. Now, again, I don't think you have to like go and play the whole year. I think literally just signing on and starting your ultimate team, maybe playing one solo will be enough to trigger it. You may not even need to be ultimate team. You may just have to sign on to Madden and just pick your favorite team, right? Like the Giants or the Jets, whoever you're on the Giants, of course, if you guys don't know. And then just log in, right? That might be enough. The point is, so you get, if you play one title, you get one fantasy pack with one elite. You play two, you get two fantasy packs with two elites. And if you play three, you get three fantasy packs with three elites total. Packs available through Madden NFL 20 Veteran Reward Fantasy Packs. So remember, guys, more than likely, some of these packs you don't get day one, remember? So Madden does come out on August 20th. With EA Access and the whole early thing, you're probably looking at getting it maybe around August 13th, give or take, which is right at my birthday, which kind of sucks every year. Last year it landed on my girlfriend's birthday. This year it's going to land on my birthday. Besides the point, either way, it might come out around the 13th. So remember, you may not get the packs 13th. People, I mean, people are going to ask this anyways. I'm sure to get it out now. You're going to say, you know, we open the game, where are my packs? You know, I paid, I, I paid early. I got everything to get the packs. Sometimes the packs don't drop to the game officially launches, so the game doesn't always officially launch. It doesn't officially launch until like three days before, right, with the MVP. So you don't get the MVP awards till the day the game launches. So if it's the 20th and the MVP launch maybe the 17th or something, depending on the days, you won't get the packs with EA access, typically, or if you buy the game early especially, right? Now, if I'm an EA, EA play member, will there be any unique content? If you are an EA play member, you will receive and be eligible for following content. EA play members get early access to the trial starting August 12th. My birthday, August 12th. Okay, so there you go, right there. August 12th, it starts, which of course is my birthday. That's just how the cookie crumbles, right? Just my luck. There's 365 days. It landed on my girlfriend's birthday, my birthday, back to back years. That's great. Uh, at least, you know, I'll start the morning, I'll do all my stuff, I'll get everything out there, of course, but that's gonna really delay my day, which really, really kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Get 10% off your pre order, score a launch welcome pack in Madden Ultimate Team. Claim monthly ultimate team pack rewards tied to in-game seasonal programs. Eligible for Madden Veteran bonus based on your play. So yeah, that's already there. Uh, claim the monthly ultimate team pack rewards. That's something you get. Launch welcome pack. EA Play Pro members. So you'll get the Dynasty Edition starting on the 12th. Full access to the Madden NFL 22 Dynasty Edition. 
So now I think this is going to be on the computer where if you have the EA Play Pro on the computer, you are able to go ahead and get the full game early, which is like last year. Uh, score a launch welcome pack, claim monthly ultimate team pack rewards, and of course you're eligible again. And yeah, how can you pre-order guys? You go to the website, you go to the stuff. You guys already know the deal with how this stuff does work. Now let's go over to the other stuff. So that's the loyalty. Now, of course, we go over here to Walmart. Walmart does offer you guys a Peyton Manning. So pre-order at Madden NFL 22 to receive Peyton Manning for Ultimate Team. You also get 20 staff points, which go for the face of franchise uh, for um, franchise. You get face of the franchise and the yard, the general player class starting at 10. You get Tom Brady gear capsule and Madden Ultimate Team choice of one of 32 NFL Madden NFL 22 stars. Now, if you guys don't already know, guys, those stars are pretty simplistic. Those are like the players you do get. Those like cheapy players, if you don't recall. I'll show you here. I'm typically, I think it's like these. Like, see, this is the one of 32. So if you do do the Walmart guys, you will be getting Peyton Manning. And of course, you will go ahead and get some of these players here, which is going to be like Khalil Mack, Jesse Bates, Josh Allen, Bob Miller. Now remember, they're going to be like probably 80 to 82 overalls. The stats are usually pretty bad. But again, they're great starter players, right? So let's say you start your team. You're going to, you're going to play some solos, right? So what, what way you need? Maybe you take the fastest wide receiver you can find, so he helps you out. Maybe you go with Khalil Mack just to get some edge pressure and solos. Uh, you know, you just take a guy that's going to be easy. Maybe you get a user safety. Maybe you go with the lineman, right? Lineman's always a safe. When you take Quentin Nelson, he'll be the 82 overall left guard. And you don't, when you first start the year, you want a quarterback, a running back, maybe a user safety. You're not too focused on the fact that, you know, you're not going to be wanting to buy linemen. They're going to be expensive. So what you do is you take a Quentin Nelson and you get a left guard locked up for at least the first week or so while you start building your team out. Maybe get Fletcher Cox with some defensive tackle pressure. Maybe you get a backup running back, which I really wouldn't recommend. But again, I, I typically take linemen here. Or defensive lineman. And unless it's a fast one. Or like a Chase Young, right? That's a great one. But that's more or less going to be the player that you do get for that. So yeah, that's what it for that, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you have any questions regarding this, comment down below. I will get to you as soon as possible. So guys, real quick. If you do have any questions regarding the beta, like I said, I will be dropping my video sometime this week regarding the beta. My impressions, good, bad, the ugly, and everything. But if you guys have any questions like right now, like you're just, how does this work? How does this function? What do you think about this? Comment down below. I will answer those questions. But I want to make a whole video on it, of course. So I'm not going to go ahead and just like talk about it in this video. But like I said, if you have questions now, I'll be happy to answer them. But my whole video, like the whole, you know, 15, 20 minute, however long it ends up being, that's going to be its own separate video. But if you have questions, ask them down below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. I, you know, I'm not withholding information here. I just want to get a good grip on it. I don't want to go out there and be like, you know, um, this aspect's trash, right? Franchise is trash. Then a week later, we find out they've only shown half a franchise. It's only, you know, it's only beta. There's a lot more features coming. So it's like, I want to give it some time, let things scramble. I want to play the game enough because, you know, you might you might do a play, right? And you're like, oh, that's broken. But then you do it 20 more times. You're like, wait, no, they cover that. It wasn't broken. It's just, you know, like in Madden 21, right? You could you could throw a streak 10 times. 10 out of 10 times, 9 out of 10 times they'll cover it. And that one time, the the, the, the guy doesn't run with him, right? And he's a, he's a wide open touchdown. So is that a fluke or is Madden broken, right? It's one of those things. So but that's about it for that. I'm hoping things go well. Like I said, I, my first impressions are the beta is feeling pretty good again. But that's, that's nothing to do with this. I just want to kind of cover that, guys. But the beta feels a lot better than where it felt last year. And hopefully, they do improve on the next-gen game speed and everything else. But that's about it for that. Like I said, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you guys need anything, of course, comment down below. But as far as this goes, again, I'll get over the pre-order editions. Typically, they, they, they tend to different people, right? If you're a franchise guy, maybe you don't touch the highest one. But they are adding some incentives this year. If you're an ultimate team guy, maybe touch the highest one. If you don't like free players and you spend a lot of money on packs, maybe you just take the cheapest one and you spend money on packs. It really just depends. But we'll get into that in the next video as I see them. And of course, guys, tomorrow I will be posting the best pre to take. And as I play more of the beta, I want to get a more of an in-tuned idea of what's going on. I want to get a good notepad going on. And we'll go over my beta and my concerns, my likes, my, my you know, the good, the bad, the ugly kind of a thing, right? But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, like the video if you're into the channel and subscribe. That's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.